It's absolutely no doubt that Splatoon 3 is going to be one of the biggest games of next year, and probably could be the biggest. Splatoon is a very fun franchise that many people have come to now for Nintendo's big third-person shooter. And with that said, we've already had two installments in the series and got to see pretty much everything there is to see Splatoon-wise. Splatoon 2 pretty much just took everything from the first game and completely rehauled everything about the series and turned it into something magnificent. It took everything that was good and it took away everything that was bad and and made a very good Splatoon game. But now with Splatoon 3, where do they go? And one of those aspects that I really wanna dive in deep with today is the story mode. I'm also gonna point out that I will not today be talking about any of the enemies or the main antagonists this time around because I've already made a video on that. That will be in the title card above if you wanna check that out. But we're just talking about the actual gameplay of the campaign this time around. Splatoon 1 and 2 both had very similar story modes and they pretty much functioned the same way. There were some collectibles amongst the stages that you could get, but for the most part, you were going from beginning to end in a very linear straight line. Everything that you did and every puzzle that you completed all led you to go to one place. You could never break the boundary and do something different or explore somewhere else. Everything you did was on a straight path. The design and layout of these stages brought this out even more. Everything was floating platforms in the sky. There was no giant terrain to explore and to look at, and if you ever had a level like this, it was based off of an already well-established multiplayer map, so it wasn't anything new. But for the most part, you were traveling across floating blocks in the sky in order to get to the end of a stage in a very linear fashion. Now, there's nothing necessarily wrong with this. It's just a nice way to have a campaign within a multiplayer-based game, but I want them to go a little bit deeper, and especially with Splatoon 3. We've already seen this type of story mode elements for the first game and for the second game, and the only thing the second game really added was the ability to use different weapons, which was actually really cool. But this time, I want to see it a little bit more, you know, open. Not necessarily open world, but open areas to explore and to find hidden secrets in. So far, we only gotten one gameplay trailer for Splatoon 3, and we know it's not coming until next year, so they have plenty of time to show us more stuff. But with that said, we did get a glimpse at the very beginning of something that looked a lot different as far as Splatoon goes. The way the camera was panned out. When the Inkling was running up the Sand Hill, you'll notice that the camera was panned out pretty far away from the Inkling and looked like it was even able to be manipulated as if turned in a certain way. Now this is completely different for Splatoon, as because when you play Splatoon, the camera always follows directly behind the player, and whenever the player moves, it's always moving with the Inkling. Now this very well could be and probably is the opening scene where the Inkling is just running up the hill in order to catch the train, and it probably is just a special camera angle for that and for that only, but I feel like it might hint at something bigger within the story mode or within the actual gameplay. I feel like maybe there is new camera angles and a new way that the camera pans out in order for the Inkling to see and explore an entire region. This could very well hint at a possible new way that the story mode is going to act this time. I would love to see a story mode where the Inkling is actually traversing this desert and looking for secrets. That would be really cool if you could explore a wide range of area instead of just walking on platforms in the sky in order to get to the goal. I would love to be able to find hidden secrets within caves or something or maybe ink up a side of a canyon or something like that, that would be amazing. And I think it would add a lot more exploration and story mode aspect to Splatoon. And that's what it desperately needs right now is a lot more deeper campaign. Like I said before though, there's nothing wrong with the current state of Splatoon story mode, it just, it's very linear, and I think we've seen it many times. Technically, we've seen it three times with the inclusion of Splatoon 1, 2, and that Octo expansion, which continued that type of process of going from the beginning of the stage and making your way to the end of the stage in a straight line with checkpoints, and it just felt like a level completer. I want to see more of an adventure Splatoon story mode this time around, where you can explore, kind of akin to Breath of the Wild or even Mario Odyssey. Obviously, Obviously nowhere near as big, I'm not talking about an open world Splatoon, but rather more of a bigger area to explore within these levels and more area to, you know, find hidden secrets and stuff like that. That would work out really well for a game like Splatoon, and the camera can move wherever you want when you're playing the game. I mean, wherever the Inkling is looking, that's where the camera goes, so I don't see why this would be any type of problem at all for a bigger, more expansive map to explore. There's something to be said about just exploring areas and trying to find secrets, and of course Breath of the Wild is an extreme, extreme example of this as it's such a big map and so detailed, but could you imagine if you had a region like this from Breath of the Wild where you could ink up everything and swim up it? 
That would be so cool. And use your inkling abilities to find hidden secrets and maybe use your splat bombs to blow up, you know, rocks or something that's blocking a cave. It'd be like Zelda with a Splatoon coat of paint. I think it would work perfectly, actually. But like I said before, there's nothing really wrong with the current state of Splatoon story mode. In fact, it's exactly what they should have done with the first three games, or really the first two games. It's now something that has kind of been explored too much, however. If you look at Octo Expansion, they really took it to the next level and done some amazing things by making mission-based levels and just one giant continuous level that goes on for six different sections before you get to the final boss. This was a really good idea, and I think right now they have pretty much covered everything you could possibly cover within the current state of the campaign mode. So I would love to see them do something completely different and change it up with more of an exploratory Splatoon 3 campaign. But you guys can let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this new idea. Would you love to see more of an expansive Splatoon campaign? Would you like to see a bigger area and more things to do? It would be a lot of fun personally. But let me know if you have any more ideas down below. I have always loved to see what you guys think. It makes me even realize better things that could happen. But thank you so much for tuning in. If you really enjoyed this video, please stop what you're doing and make sure that you subscribe to the channel and like the video. It helps out more than you think. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I will see you all on the next one. See you guys.